It was nearing 11pm and the sounds of trick-or-treaters had finally faded away. My energy, much like the candy I had, was spent. I let out a yawn as I turned off the television, ready for my head to crash onto my pillow and fall asleep. That was when I heard a knock from my front door. It's so late now, surely there couldn't be any more kids out. As I walked down the hallway towards the front door, my feet stopped halfway and I suddenly froze. I didn't know what came over me, but I couldn't move an inch closer towards the door. I was overcome with some kind of primal fear as the knocking persisted. Each pound on the door made me wince, my heart nearly skipping a beat in turn. What the actual hell had come over me? I heard a young boy's voice call out from outside. Hello, sir. My sister and I are lost. May we please come in? But the way this kid said that just didn't sound right. It sounded so distorted, as if it was a bad recording of a child's voice. That's when another voice came, this time a young girl's. Please, sir, we just need to use your phone. Same thing. The voice sounded so... inhuman. I thought for a moment that I must have freaked myself out over some of the horror movies I saw. I wiped some of the cold sweat away from my brow. It was only children that needed help, that's all. I forced myself forward. My feet resisted at first, but I was able to finally make it to the door. Hold on just a minute, I called out. I was sure that I'd left the front porch lights on, but when I looked through the peephole, all I could see was darkness. I couldn't even see the streetlights, let alone my neighbor's house across the road. Just black. The boy called out again. Hello, sir. My sister and I are lost. May we please come in? It sounded just like how we asked earlier. I slowly unlocked the door and opened it. Standing before me were two kids, a boy and a girl, both maybe younger than twelve. They both wore jeans and red hoodies, and when they lifted their heads for a moment, they looked normal, until I looked into their eyes. My heart sank as I saw black voids fill their sockets, a pure vanta black. I slammed the door and locked it. All I could hear was, John, John, let us in. They both yelled with distorted children's voices. John, John, let us in. The door shook as they beat upon it, and the lights in my home flickered. Their yells turned into high-pitched ringing. I thought I was going to go deaf. Then, silence. Absolute silence. I sat there until the fear finally dissipated. I looked through the peephole, and sure enough, the lights were on, and the children, those things were gone. Thank you, Thomas, for letting me act in this short story. I enjoyed it. Dear viewers, please remember to do the YouTube stuff, like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.